all I was seeing was doors opening doors opening doors opening doors opening doors opening I'm here to give language to everything he's been blowing in the name of Jesus doors open doors open doors of destiny open doors connecting one season to the other open by the Spirit of the Living God some of you before this conference is over you will hear that certain doors certain iron gates that have insisted on being closed by the power and the mystery of the prophetic that it is open hither and thither in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God father in the name of Jesus anyone who belongs or is connected to that region right now in the name of Jesus let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe that there are people who came here trusting God for restoration. You know what it means to restore? To restore means to bring back to its original state. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but in the name that is above all names, someone here under the sound of my voice, an unction is coming upon you that will command a strange order of restoration. A strange order of restoration. For someone, a restoration of your spiritual fire. For someone, a restoration of favor. You've tasted of the goodness of God, but it looked like something, an, an, an attack from hell just closed that door over you. And for a long time, you've not seen that dimension of favor. But tonight it returns in the name of Jesus. Favor returns. The goodness of God returns over your life in the name of Jesus. And I'm speaking over someone who has gone through a season of strange attacks. The angel appeared unto Joseph and said, they that seek the life of this child. There were people who sought the life of Jesus. In the name that is above all names, every attack over your life. I come by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare before you it will fall like Dagon before the earth. Before you it will fall like Dagon before the earth. Hallelujah. Now please I want you to listen. I want to speak something over your life there are things men cannot do there is a grace I'm trusting God to rest on you now I want you to listen there are supernatural things that when you see it is impossible it's beyond the realm of intellect there are dimensions of the possibilities of the kingdom that is beyond the presence of finances there are certain things that are a signature of God upon the lives of men. Many of you have really not experienced the help of God. The assignment of help is to make things possible than to make things easy. When a man provides help for you, he makes things possible and he makes things easy. I know what it means to be helped by God. And I can tell you, the man of God, Pastor Nat, he's a testament of the help of God. There's someone here struggling in life, struggling in business. You know that this is the strength of the flesh. You've stretched your hand, you've stretched whatever. In the name of Jesus, let me introduce to you a dimension called Ebenezer. That there is a God in heaven who can assist men. I stand by this unction in the name of Jesus where you have struggled by yourself in ministry you have struggled in finances struggled as a pastor let help rest upon you now let help rest upon you now let that grace that can cause a man to be helped marvelously helped of God let it rest upon you now help in ministry receive it Help in your finances, receive it. Help in business, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ.
and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of God helped in ministry helped in worship helped as a businessman helped as a parent some of you are in the uk and it is clear you are alone there is no supernatural assistance around your life you wake up early in the morning and you sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow welcome to your season of strange help in the name of jesus i say to you welcome to your season of strange help help by god help by god that you are an ordinary man but may you experience the help of god in the name of jesus christ i declare my head my hands my destiny be lifted up find visibility go ahead and begin to pray be lifted up be lifted up my head no more downcast be lifted up my influence find visibility man of god pray pray businessman pray my head a symbol of my glory my hands a symbol of my productivity my destiny be lifted up Hallelujah. 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 Second Timothy 4 and verse 18. Second Timothy 4 and verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, it says, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Someone shall say in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every walk of evil over my life, over my family, and all connected to me, I come against you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because in the realm of the spirit, that person is not just running, but is coming out of what looks like a pit. This is what I'm saying. It's like a pit that has kept buried people. Uh, what I'm seeing is a strange mystery. Someone being buried, yet the person is still alive. I prophesy to those outside, the overflow particularly. I don't know what has buried your life and your destiny, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, right now, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Upon every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'd like you to find a serious prayer partner. And for the next two minutes, everything 
you are tired of that in righteousness must live your destiny let this be your moment of aggressive prayer prayer with passion prayer with dedicated focus go ahead begin to declare that this mountain before Zerubbabel tonight and right now before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain are there people of prayer in Leeds prayer in UK open your mouth and begin to pray unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come every challenge every mountain every giant that stands before you at the shout of grace grace the shout of grace grace it clears the way once and for all someone is praying praying with passion praying with faith he that cometh unto God must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone decree that thou mightest be justified. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Koinonia, pray. Command a new season. Pray. Bring the old season to an end. Pray. Open up new fountains, new possibilities in your life. one more minute you're praying with faith in your heart pray with expectation the lord visited sarah as he had said the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken the lord visited sarah come on your ministry cannot remain the same after this encounter your business should not be the same after this encounter it's a sound of revival it's a stirring from the spirit you have an advantage you have the advantage pray in jesus victorious name we pray let me speak over someone's life that these Egyptians you see today in the name that is above all names I don't care what they are called financial mountains I call them Egyptians shame and reproach I call them Egyptians diseases that defy medical attention I call them Egyptians and I come in the name of Jesus the son of the living God that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever 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 in the name of jesus the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream in the name of jesus for someone you will have to pinch yourself and say am i dreaming what is this that is happening to me open door meeting and open door favor meeting favor grace upon grace help upon help in the name of jesus christ hallelujah one last prayer and then you are seated father the dimension of grace required for the next level of my spiritual adventure I open up my heart to receive someone pray someone pray possibilities are sponsored by grace I like you to pray and cry the empowerment the engracing that must rest upon your life tonight that defines the next prophetic season in ministry in destiny that defines the next prophetic season go ahead and pray go ahead and cry go ahead and pray yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger the manna came daily 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 
yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger cry for a fresh outpouring cry for a fresh anointing a fresh empowerment that responds to the new season the new prophetic season you are stepping into in jesus mighty name we pray i'd like you to be seated but be very sensitive please show me the screen for those outside i'm still praying again i don't know why god is speaking to the overflow outside now not not the basement in the name of jesus i'd like you to bring those out right now who will start running by the power of the holy spirit outside i'm seeing this in a vision bring them out i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the spirit the anointing of the Spirit of God is falling upon everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Outside, every spirit of delay that has tied anyone's destiny, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, as God is speaking to those outside, He is also speaking to everyone everywhere. I don't know what has tied you, tied your father, tied your mother. In the name of Jesus, let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. In the name of Jesus, I bow my knees by the privilege of God's grace. And I decree and declare that every issue of concern, please listen carefully and shout a loud amen. Every issue of concern here represented it comes to a permanent end now 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 And every long-standing issue by the power that raised Christ from the dead between now and the end of 2022 in the name of Jesus hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand hold your testimony in your hand I lay my hands upon this request and I ask that the anointing of the Spirit will saturate this prayer request and let there be a harvest of answers let there be a harvest of testimonies in the name of jesus every issue here that is an emergency issue we are arrested by the power of the holy spirit every issue here that is caused directly by demon spirits by the mercy of god let there be deliverance now Every issue here that needs the approval of systems and structures, we declare may the mercy of God show up now. And every issue here that needs the ministry of destiny help us, we declare may God raise men to show up. Therefore I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ i am a product of the healing power of jesus myself i know that he heals if you ever doubt that jesus performs miracles look at a living miracle standing before you i know he heals i'm about to pray now this is one of the graces and the privileges God has given us as a ministry to bring as a gift to the body of Christ and across the nations of the earth those outside all the overflows now is your time to receive he's a healing Jesus as I pray for you I want you to shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is telling me about someone you quietly met a doctor and the doctor told you that something is growing in your body you have not shared this with anybody 
but that you need to pray. You are a man. He told you you are beginning to have symptoms of prostrate because you went because of some abnormalities you, have, you began to see in your body and you went to meet the doctor and just on telling him he could almost say but he did some preliminary chest, a test and he came to the conclusion that you are beginning to have the symptoms of an enlarged prostrate you have not shared this with people i want you to believe jesus is about to heal every spirit that is back of any infirmity here represented in this auditorium over the life of your precious loved ones over the life of our global family and as many who are connecting right now across the body of christ in the name of jesus in this atmosphere of intense worship and faith i'm declaring to you by the power that raised christ from the dead that the spirit that is back of this we command judgment on that spirit now and i decree and declare my god i'm seeing fire enter the chest of people like literally entering inside i decree and declare be healed now be healed now outside i decree and declare lift your hands the overflow outside by the power that raised christ from the dead we see you from here be healed now See, let me tell you many of these conditions you see i'm not i'm not a medical doctor but many of these conditions like you see what is happening to this precious woman is demonic is demonic nine miscarriages cannot be the will of god are we together now let an end come right now let an end come right now why is she here? She, she's also trusting God for... I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. Um, you may not have the time to minister and lay hands on people trusting God for the fruit of the womb. But you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You must carry your children this year. In the name of Jesus. You must carry your children this year. Lay your hands. Are you married? Please lay your hand on your stone. Father, in the name of Jesus, for your glory and for your grace, this woman has cried, and in the name that is above all names, let your womb as a door be open for children right now. Be open for children right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be open for children right now. According to the time of life, you return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Please return back to your seat. Father, in the name of Jesus, every legal access. I speak to these spirits, this is the house of God. Right now at the count of three, the spirits that are responsible for barrenness, right now, I don't care what gave you legal access. At the count of three, it is time for God's people to be fruitful. One, two, three, go, 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 go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Barrenness. Go now. Manifesting as impotency. Manifesting as the inability to, to be with child. Go now. Every legal access the devil has over you, your family, and every covenant that authorizes Satan by the blood of the eternal covenant, be free now. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. 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 It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. Hallelujah. Now hear me please, pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead. Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases, all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing. It doesn't mean every dead face. Of course, there are spirits of just men made perfect. But it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death. Let me pray for a family here. Or a destiny that is under siege you have been having dreams of dead people calling you you have no business listen the living and the dead have nothing in common i pray for you by the fire that is of the holy ghost oh death oh death oh death oh death, oh death. release the families now release god's people now oh grave take your hands away from their destinies Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all those in front here, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, the spirits that oppress you, I command them to leave you now. I command them to leave you now. I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus. So every spirit of the grave that has been calling anyone in the name of Jesus, using dreams, using prophetic experiences. For some of you, the devil is planning that you will not see December 31st. That it is this year everything will end up with you. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we decree and declare, death has no power over you. Death has no power over you. Hallelujah. Now lay your hands, I want to pray for the sick. Many people came here because you have heard that Jesus heals. Sadly, we have to work with time. I'm not sure we may even have the time to take testimonies because we still have to pray over our requests. But I want you to lay your hands. It is true that Jesus heals. No distraction, please. Lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body you can touch, make contact with it. Some of you are standing in for your children, your loved ones. Don't let the devil destroy them. Lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. But I'm seeing people holding photos of people, holding phones. I'm sure others are connecting from across the globe. There are many, many people who connect from hospitals with their loved ones, some in ICU, some at emergency rooms. Now is the time to pray. Two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Mm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life. Everything that left my life.
by demonic orchestrations. By demonic orchestrations. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 Everything, everything, everything. Restore, restore, restore years, restore things, restore years, restore things. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now every sick body from the crown of your head down to the. Ah, my God. As I just said, from the crown of your head, I just felt a surge of power. Just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body, bringing cleansing. Cleansing 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 of every demonic thing right now be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name hepatitis in the name of Jesus be healed of it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now. I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance. I don't know who has that condition, but the power of God is touching you right now. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Hormonal imbalance. Be healed now. Deaf ears, whether total deafness or partial deafness, be opened in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes. Be opened now in the name of Jesus. Anybody here who could not walk. You came and you could not walk. Using an aid in the name of Jesus. I empower your limbs begin to walk now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kidney problems. I'm hearing in the spirit. Help them. Kidney problems. Be healed right now. There's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node around your, your lower abdominal area and it refused to go. In the name of Jesus, I command that growth. Let it disappear now. I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue. I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked. This is what I'm seeing. It's like the tongue is, you know how it's like you're shredding something. I don't know what condition that is. But in the name of Jesus, I bring you life and healing right now. Hardship, no matter what you do, it is father suffering, mother suffering. I'm about to pray. Fire is falling now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, under this yoke, at the count of three, wherever you are, inside and outside, following from any nation of the world, let that anointing rest and bring deliverance for you. Are you ready to shout Jesus? One, two, three, shout Jesus. That yoke be broken. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. 
Laleka shabaraka skoto barande baziata. Krata katusiata. I'm seeing the number 11. Fire is coming on their hands. And the Lord is telling me, the spirit that has tied down your productivity is about to give way. 11 people, bring them out right now. I decree and declare, I don't know where you are. 11 of you, let that fire come upon your hand right now. Bring them out. Let it come upon your hand right now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. Please bring them out quickly. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged. If you don't believe this, you are joking. You are joking if you don't believe this. That destinies can be exchanged. That you find yourself living another man's life. You know that this is not my life. No. I declare the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all that even the king is fed by the increase of the field your portion in this land or wherever you are represented I command it to locate you I command it to gravitate towards you in the name of Jesus Christ number four I pray for your family if it is well with you and it is not well with your family, then it is not well with you. I pray for you, all your siblings, your parents, your loved ones, all who are connected to you by natural descent, by blood, and by responsibility. None of them will go down. None of them will go down. None of them will fall by the wayside. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia, let a mark and a mantle of honor, let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your destiny. Everyone who is in ministry here, and it looks like ministry is barren, unfruitful, you love God, you are serving him with integrity of heart, but there are no results that follow your loving and serving Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to command unusual results. Begin to command unusual results. I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for our children. We prayed for our children already, but we are praying for our children. Koinonia children will be known for excellence. Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. He said, I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take authority over every hindrance. Over every hindrance. Stopping good things. Stopping good things. From coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Men. Systems. Demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. Sabra to skete pra. Kene ke to skete pra. Deke pa reko to skoniata. Raka ta pra ka ta skata pra ka ta pra to skata. Every hindrance. Every hindrance. Every hindrance. Every hindrance. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is here to do us good. How many of you believe that? In the name of Jesus Christ. I assure you that God will surpass your expectations tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. So as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer, please don't be distracted. It is part of the service. Pray from the depth of your heart. Any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight. Hallelujah. So you pray with fervency. You pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything you have for me, I receive tonight. Go ahead and begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray with understanding, pray with power, fire, passion. Shake parasco prande ge balaka to se fresia. Shada bega de balaka prakata paranda kasa prande ge de belegeta. Everything you have, the healing. Everything you have, the impartation, the open doors, direction, illumination. I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Seka parakatos kale brenda ke bereketos. Sati bakata parakos shabrande ke belekes. Sky Zabazasi Kaparanda Shavra Sebelekatas Emprata Kaparakata Fraskada Balakata Prenda Gebelekes Kaprete Gebelekatosh Those following from across the globe pray in the spirit that which God has in store for you receive by faith the Bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of God there remaineth a rest for the people of God there remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Shataka parakas kapata katebeleke tofras kaparanta kap. Shalige bereke te parandas kaprake vele shiasa. Prakata paranta kaprake tebeleke tos. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without distraction. 